Douglas County's courthouse needs work, but how it'll be renovated is a big question. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. And I'm Brandi Pearson. The county board puts a decision on hold with one board member suggesting you, the taxpayer, is being left out of the process. Big Story coverage is live with KETV News Watch 7's Alexander Stone. The commission that oversees the courthouse here and the Civic Center next door says the building behind me needs $14 million in renovations. The big concern is security, but today there were questions about who's making the decisions and who's setting the priorities. Walk through areas of the Douglas County Courthouse with the man in charge of security, and he'll point out the concerns. I have two holding tanks on this side here. And right across the hallway are the city prosecutor's office. Captain Wayne Hudson says prosecutors and inmates are too close. I've talked to many people doing the court security. No one that I've talked to has this set up. And the accused often mingle with the public. Safety in this space on the second floor is one of the big concerns. Inmates have to walk all the way across this rotunda from the holding cells over to the courtroom. Deputy City Attorney David Smallheiser says disputes often spill right into his lobby. We have security people, deputies there, uh, who sometimes people are unruly, and those uh, incidents will, will fall into our offices. The problems are all well known. Consultants have spent months and thousands of dollars studying how to find more space in the historic courthouse. Now it's time to pay for the fix. I'm saying that I think you need to go back to the drawing board. But when the Douglas County Board got the plan Tuesday, Commissioner Mike Boyle wasn't pleased. Uh, I, I think that what's happened here is that um, the tenants are running the renovation. Boyle suggests the renovation plan is catering to what tenants, like judges and attorneys, want, not what the county can afford or what might work best. Both the county board and city council must approve the renovation plan to relocate courtrooms and change arrangements. But the county's decision will wait at least two weeks. Mike Boyle wants to study how it can be changed. I think there are ways that uh, you know, we can contribute to a more efficient and less expensive solution. Building Commission Administrator Paul Cohen says the homework has already been done and the people who actually work here all agree on this plan. So if anything's going to be changed, that's yet to be seen. The City Council will also have to vote on this bond issue. But Alexandra, bonds pay for this. However, this does not go to a public vote, right? No, it will not go to a public vote. And again, this plan calls for $14 million in renovations. The Building Commission is actually asking for $25 million in bonds as a safeguard, so if they need more money, they don't have to go back through this process. Alexandra Stone reporting live tonight. Thanks, Alexandra.